So what's going on guys, this is Gaurav Pramar and this is a very short tutorial uh, in which I'll be showing you how you can open Sublime Text using the command prompt that you have in Windows. This tutorial is specifically for those users who are actually using Windows operating system and they want to open the Sublime Text editor inside uh, uh, their machine using the command prompt. So let's jump right into this and I'll be showing you um, how you can open it using the command prompt. So first of all you need to create an environment variable for sublime text so that you can use a command to trigger this and the command prompt will be opening sublime text using that command. So first of all what you have to do you, you just have to search for the environment variable setup option. So um, as you can see this is the option that is provided by windows to uh, set up your own environment variables or to manage the system variables that you have. So just click on that to open it and then just jump right into this um, environment variable section okay then here you need to create one system variable for the sublime text so just click on the name button now just give it a name something like sublime okay and this variables value will be pointed to the path where the sublime text is actually installed in your machine so um, in usual cases it will be your c drive okay and c drive you can just head over to this program files folder Inside that we'll be finding out uh, something like Sublime Text 3. So I've installed Sublime Text 3, so it is it is showing this folder over here. So just click on this folder. Now just copy this path over here as the value. Now just click on OK. As you can see, this new variable has been created over here. Okay. Now what you have to do, you have to just go to the path variable. This is our path variable. Just click on Edit. Okay. Now add one more entry for this, and this entry will be called as um, percent sublime percent just click on ok okay and then you're done with the system path variable now go to the um, user path variable click on edit now here also we will be doing the same thing we'll create one more entry for percent sublime percent okay now what this will do this will tell the command prompt that there's one more value for sublime text so that you can open it using the command okay now this is done we are done with the environment variable setup now just click on the ok to save it click on ok again now you can just simply open the command prompt uh, just remember one thing if you have already opened command prompt and then you are setting up the environment variable just close the command and just try to open it again because uh, environment variable will be taking effect uh, after you close the current uh, command prompt window and open it back okay so just remember that thing now as you can see I've already opened this command prompt uh, once again after setting up the environment variable so now I can just type in my command which is actually subl and then you can see it's, it's open okay so this is how you can use this subl command to open any uh, any file inside sublime text now right now I had already opened this file inside my sublime text so it got open with this file only so now let me just close the sublime text window and now let me try to hit the command once again and it's open again so you can see using this command we can actually open sublime text okay now if you want to create a new file and at the same time you want to open sublime text what you have to do to type this subl command and then after that you need to type the file's name so for example if my file's name will be say text.html so i can just type that right right here and then I can just hit enter so as you can see this command uh, this command prompt will be opening sublime text using this um, um, using this file so now this file will be there by default uh, on my sublime text window and so this is how you can open a file uh, using the command prompt inside sublime text now there will be cases in which you want to import or open that entire projects folder on which you're working inside sublime text in the command prompt so how will you do that so for doing that uh, what you need to do is, is pretty simple just head over to the command prompt once again and just route to this uh, folder whatever project folder you have uh, in my case this is the folder in which I have my project folder so as you can see I have two folders here and in which the first folder that is actually due to do that's actually my project folder which I want to open so I'll be doing the same thing again I'll be just typing this subl command and then I'll be giving a space and just like previous case when we type the name of the file for opening it uh, I'll be typing the name of uh, my project folder over here this time 
so that I can open it. So this is how you um, give the command to open a folder inside Sublime Text. Now you can just simply hit enter and holy smokes this is uh, actually open okay so you might be noticing one more thing that um, this has actually opened one more sublime text window uh, although i had one more window open already okay so in case if you want to open um, a new file or new folder uh, inside the existing or is inside this already open sublime text window what you have to do um, just hit uh, this command with um, one more option called add so if you provide this option this is an additional option uh, which you need to provide in order to open whatever you're trying to open inside the same sublime window um, on the screen so if you put the same command and um, um, put this option as well along with that command then it will be opening the folder or the file which you're trying to open inside the same sublime text window so now this time let's see what happens okay now you can see that uh, it had got open inside the same sublime text window instead of opening it inside one more window or one more instance of the same uh, sublime text. So this is pretty much how you can use a uh, command prompt in windows to open any file or any project folder in sublime text and work with it. And yeah, that's it. Uh, uh, it's pretty simple to use and it's a, it's a small hack that you can use uh, to get it to work. Okay. So if you have any doubts, uh, just let me know in the comment section below and um, and if you like this video, then just don't forget to hit the like button and also click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this. So I'll see you guys in some other tutorial. Peace out.